will die for you You will not understand. I needed to be alone. <laughs> and that is a lie. That is a big, fat lie. <sighs> ben, you are breaking down and I can see it. <sighs> I know that. I don't have a place in your heart. What dwells there is the memory of the dead. Your mom, Alice. Ben, listen. The dead can never come back to us. They are gone. You have to move on. Life goes on. You have to stop doing this to yourself. Okay? Alright? There are some things I... Some things I wish you could understand. I truly understand. I do. Okay? My heart is broken. You know, Ooh, I, I can't just how can I leave? Off my mind. I am addicted to your presence, Ben. I am really addicted to you. I, I want to know. What do you feel in your heart for me? Your eyes, your smile, they, they can win any man's heart. Will oh, they live in your heart forever? Only the future can tell, Vanessa. I can see the future, Ben. The future is bright and beautiful. It is. Oh. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. To some it brings pleasure. And to others, pains and tears. Most times, that which the heart seek often makes the heart.
I brought you here so you can help your life and certainly not to gallivant around with some hoodlums in the name of friends. I, Dad, Ben is not a hooligan. I don't care what you think, but you must put a stop to that relationship at once. Ben has shown me so much love. He has been there for me. He has been so caring and loving. Look at you, Ingrid. Look at you standing there talking to me about love when you are about to disobey me after all the love I've shown you, Vanessa. The love you show me is your responsibility. Ben is a total stranger and his love cannot be equaled. Then you must keep away from such stranger. You must desist from having contact with them. Never over my dead body. Vanessa! Okay. I am sorry. I don't mean to make you angry. Come and sit down so we can talk. You see, there are things you don't understand. It's not as if I'm trying to curtail your freedom. No. But everything I do, I do it for your own good. Yes, for your good as my daughter. And for your life. After all, you have every right to friendship. But this particular type of relationship can only lead you into a wayward kind of life and jeopardize your already precarious health situation. Try to understand, Vanessa. Oh, Dad, I'm very sorry about my attitude. But you don't understand. Ben is not like that. I mean... Ben has been there for me. He has shown me so much love. He has contributed his own quota to my life. He has defined his limits. Of course, every relationship has a limit. But Dad, I mean, he has brought peace to my heart. Look, Vanessa, it will do all of us a lot of good if he sticks to his limit. Eh? In short, try and forget about him. <laughs> but, but Dad, I... My daughter, I don't want us to talk about this again. Go and have some rest. Call the pawns, right? The front lines, the pawns, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the front soldiers, these guys right here. And this one is called the castle. Yep, the castle. Yeah, then this is the knight. The knight. Yes. Bishop. Then this dude right here, badass dude, the queen. Oh. time you visited? Uh, nothing. So, why did you stop visiting? Position. You know that my father does not like you. Maybe. I don't know what he holds against you. Uh, of course, every normal father will react that way. I think he's just trying to protect you from danger, that's all. You think so? I know, sir. Now concentrate and learn the game. Right? Well, you know, sometimes 
we smile and our hearts weep. It's only the heart that knows why it aches. Alice is beginning to live an indecent lifestyle. Yet you are doing nothing about it. <laughs> Uncle. Uncle. Alice is old enough to take care of herself. Eh? Besides, she said where she is. Oh. So you even know where she went. And you support it. Eh? Look, Gloria, I entrusted her to your care, hoping that you will protect her. But regrettably, you have disappointed me. You know very well how precarious her health condition is now. Yet you still allow her to be exposed to danger. Eh? That's the height of irresponsibility, Gloria. Brother. Mm. Brother. Alice is safe where she is. Eh? She's safe where she is. Trust me. Eh? She's safe with Ben. Nonsense! Rubbish! That's a bundle of hookup. Ah, oh my God. Look, Gloria. In as much as I agree that this is your house, you pay the rentage. But, you see, that singular name, Ben, I don't want it mentioned here again. Oh, don't you know that that man is a threat to her health and life in general? You very well know how precarious her situation now is. You still allow her to venture near Ben. Okay, Uncle, I've heard. Eh? You just recover, you know. I don't want anything to happen to you again, please. Ben? The truth. The truth? What truth? Listen to me. Ben doesn't belong. Simple. He belongs to my heart. He has given me what no one else has given me. True love. And I hold him dearly. Why are you tormenting my emotions? Why don't you want my happiness? Have you ever held my hands and searched through my heart and know what lies in it? No, because you're selfish. Stop, Vanessa, stop. I have given you everything a father can give to his daughter. <laughs> you're not my father. Yes, you're not my father. Because if you were my father, you would have known that my joy lies with Ben. And I will remind you, when two hearts meet, nothing, nothing can come between them. Nothing. Excuse me. Vanessa! Excuse me! Vanessa! Have somebody actually told him I'm here? Well, good day, Your Highness. I was not expecting you in my palace. Now to what? Do I owe this visit? And uh, why did you refuse to sit down? <clears throat> well, to be more specific, Your Highness, I have come to ask you to warn your son to keep away from Vanessa, my niece, or else... Or else what? 
Now, who is this Vanessa? And what we'll, 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 we'll give you the effrontery to stand before me? I'm, 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 I'm linked. I'm, I'm be talking about my son with such disrespect. Well, since you don't know this name, Your Highness, let me use this opportunity to remind you that she is the same girl that your son destroyed some years ago. Now the worst part is that he has trained her like a shameless egoat to where she is hidden, to finish what is left of her. But if he doesn't desist, if he doesn't desist, this time around I'll be forced to break out of patience, Your Highness. How dare you stand before me and lay threats on my son? Now I was very lenient with you the last time. But I promise you this time that you will have another story. If you don't live here within one minute, I'll set my guards on you. Now get out. I said, get out. Well, I will leave your palace because it is not my house. But tell your son to leave her alone. Let him leave her alone. Because if he doesn't, my shadow will still walk around. Have a good day if you can. You swine. I come. I know for sure that you need all the rest you can get. Good night, Alice.
This is unlike Alice. It's unlike Alice at all. Why are you silent, uncle? Silence is not an option. We can't just sit here and do nothing. Listen to me, Gloria. That I kept mute doesn't mean that I don't know what has been going on behind my back. Now I want you to read my lips. I know where Alice is. Where? Yeah, to tell me. Yep. How was your day at work today? Oh, my day was so busy. So busy. No rest. No. Uh -huh. Baby, come down and have dinner. Wrong decision. <laughs> no, I'll <laughs> right, oh, no. this. Then I'll do it. I'll do the shower later. Okay, you know what? This will be the last thing that you do this. You promise? I promise. Okay. Oh. Mm. <laughs> what? Mm. Nice. You like? Yeah. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. How did you know my favorite meal? Is it your favorite meal? Of course it is. I just guessed, you know. Oh my god, I'm so good at this. Yay! <laughs> 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 Alright. Okay. okay. Whoa, I can't wait. I can't, okay. wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh. Let's make you it then. Okay. Here we go. Uh-huh. You want more? Yeah, of course. Of course. More? Uh huh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'll give you everything, don't worry. <laughs> okay. You see, uh -huh. now I have nothing to no, Of course you do. <laughs> I'm joking. All okay, right. yes, um, water. Okay. Here, you. um, you're welcome. Okay, let me get you water to wash your hands. Honestly, 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 yep. it was really stressful today for me. Okay. I was just sleeping. <laughs> that was stressful. Yes. <laughs> you should come through my work. I know your job is so hectic, right? Now, eat your food. <laughs> All right. We pray. Oh, yes, yeah, so we pray. Pray for us. Okay. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father in heaven, we bless this food. We give you praise, we thank you for everything. We thank you for the pockets that brought this food to our table. Father God, as we eat, we eat in love. Susan, I cannot take any further embarrassment for her sake. She has to go. She does not belong. Father, Our world is doomed because of me. I can't turn my back on her now, Father. I believe that fate has brought us together again so I can give her a light of hope. Oh, how, how hopeless and shattered a life would be without me. An affection overstretched becomes an illusion. You have done quite a lot for her. Father, for my sake, let us stay. No, son. She must go.
But even if I go, my heart will always remain here. I don't know where I belong in this, in this miserable world. Everything, everything I hold dearly has a way of sleeping away from me. Sometimes, I wonder if my sun will shine again. Sometimes I wonder if my flower will blossom again. Darkness has suddenly overtaken my world. I am like a haunted soul. Wandering around with no hiding place. I am like a haunted soul. Wandering around with no dwelling place. But there is something I know. Going through all the circumstances in life. Then in you I have found happiness. In you I have found a home. But all I can say right now is... I just want to say... Sorry. You have a home here. And you will always have a home here. Needs for work. Uh -huh. Um, what you get for bread? Sir, so we were outside to see you, sir. One say nine, Papa, the other one say nine, sister. Eh? Are you serious? Come, come, come then. All right, sir. I should bring them in. Yeah, bring them. Okay, sir. to come between us. Why? Nonsense. Don't come back. And you? You don't belong here. And you will never belong here. Any day you look from the house again, you will see the other side of me. Now, get moving. Don't hey. you? Hey. Uncle, you're pushing us so hard now. It's not fair. Will you keep quiet and keep doing Put the of you. Ben, please, I am so sorry. Please, forgive Please, I'm so sorry. Uncle, I don't like this. Answer. Sorry for who? I don't like it. What an impudence! Oh, Assuming your mission on earth is to marry, marry, marry. You must it be Ben? Must you die with Ben? What is going on here? I said, what the hell is going on here? And you, 
What are you doing in my son's house? I said, what are you doing in my son's house? It is not yet over until you tell your son to leave her alone and you tell your daughter to leave my son alone. Samuel or whatever it is you are called, let me remind you that a dog does not bark does not mean that it cannot bite. How dare you? How dare you badge it on, 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 my, on my son? A prince for that matter. Oh, I restrain myself from unleashing my burning flame to consume you because of him. No, because I, 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 I know the kind of, of mad dogs, low life people that you are. What has my son not done to improve the lot of your daughter? Do you appreciate it? No! All you keep talking is arguing and insulting him. All you are doing is... I can't go, 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 go. Then take her, get out. Take her and get out. We have not had the last I said get out. Your Highness. Get out. I will get out. Let him leave her alone. Let's go. I will go. Let's go. Let's go. It's okay. It's okay. And you have my plan. Follow her. All of you, both of identical plumage, and you, Vanessa, you have been a big disappointment to me, and you have done everything within my power to keep you satisfied. Yet you are not satisfied. So this is the way you wish to pay me back for all that I have done within transiting and in his subordination. Now listen to me. From today onward, there is no more leaving this house to any place. That is final. Take it from me. I'm really sorry for everything, Father. It's all right. It's okay, son. It's okay. You know, this world is a very strange place. The good live for a while, but evil, evil flourishes endlessly. Oh, yes. Can you imagine if uh, someone was responsible for the death of your mother? Such is the circumstance here. You must never trade your heart for hatred even if it hurts a million times because hatred can kill it is most unfortunate that the world is full of men who who are malicious you know and everything that is evil You should always forgive and love your enemies. By so doing, you will feel fulfilled. And above all, you will feel divinely rewarded. just amaze me. Honestly, Father, I cannot thank you enough for your 
tremendous support, both morally and otherwise. In you, Father, I have also found a mother and a friend. What can I ever do without you, Father? <laughs> oh, my son. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, son. I'm only trying to do my job. Ben, I know that you're hurrying off to work. But can I just have a few minutes of your time? For everything I've put you through, I, I want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But that was in the past. All that was in the past. I was incarcerated in my hospital. I managed to elope. That's why I came here to talk with you. No. Why would you do that? Oh, come on. You don't have to do that. You belong here. They are your flesh. I'm sorry we have to give it up. You have to. You have to give it up. Yes. We have to give this up. We have to give what we share up. Our love. Our hope. The future we've worked so hard to build up. You don't get it. Look, we have no choice. There is no choice left. I have a choice. True love. We have true love. True love conquers everything. We can prevail against problems, against troubles, against temptation. We can do this. We can, we can fight this. Understand my compulsion for giving up. You don't! What? What's my on? conscience! My, my conscience wouldn't let me. It's not as easy as you think. Your conscience. <laughs> and your conscience. Then, if you have a conscience, I want you to look me in the eye. Tell me that you would never ever leave me. That we are meant to be for each other. Just say it if you have a conscience. Alright. Can you give me a little... Give me a chance to explain this. Listen, listen. Look, look listen to me, Vanessa. I, 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 I want to move on with my life. I want to forget about the past. But I can't. I've always believed that you are the hook that I need, but right now I doubt it. I just want you to leave. Please. Just go.
saw you. So you never loved me. All this was just infatuation, a fairy tale. Ben, I just want you to look into my eyes and tell me that you don't love me. Just say that you don't love me. I love you with all my heart. I love you with everything I have. I, I truly, truly do love you. But as a friend, Just can't be serious. Alice is not in this house. I've searched everywhere. What is this supposed to mean? Uncle, what do we do now? What do we do? Silly, you, you are dead. But I'm with you. I have come to bring the light of hope into your dark dwelling place. Hope? You speak of hope. There is no hope for me. It's, it's, it's gone with a passing wind. No hope. No, they are not. Look around you, Ben. Look around. What do you see? Loneliness. Loneliness is like a shadow lurking around you with pains and anguish. Do not be afraid of them. Fear is the meal of cowards. And tears, signs of weakness. You have lived long enough in that which you cannot see, you cannot get. But you must ignore the past. Follow the future. You must live again. Remember what your mother told you when you were only a child? That the road to destiny is full of taunts. But in the end, success. Do not give up no matter what you come across. Do not give up on this journey no matter what you come across. Be brave like a hero. Your future lies in that which you endlessly seek after.
Wesley. Okay, I see the man here. See him. No, put down that in my son. Put it down, please. But put down that thing. What are you doing in my house? Um, oh, oh, my son, please forgive me for what I did the other day. I'm very sorry. Now, you, you see, Alice has been missing for days now. I never know how, how to come to you. But I just have to put, put up the courage to come and find out if she's here. And does this place look like a hideout for kidnappers? Uh, uh, no. Uh, shut up! Turn around right now and leave my premises. I, will. I don't I want will. to see you or Alice I again. Now leave! I will. I will. Oh, get on the go! I said leave! I will. Oh, get on! I will. Should anything happen to her, the guilt will haunt me till I die. Such a strange world. I wanted her with all my breath in the past. Now the reverse has become the case. Is this love or lust? Just like a sweet pain. so much trouble and pain, but in the end, 
peace and victory. Now tell me, Father, what path am I threading? Son, you are threading the right path. There are things you need to understand. Oh, listen, I understand everything. I know everything. I know that no one cares for me. No one loves me. Then I gave you my heart. It is not true. It is not true. Wait, wait, wait. I want to be quite sincere with you, Your Majesty. I'm not comfortable with this visit of yours. It's almost two weeks since Vanessa got missing. I have already accepted. I have made a grave mistake. I have sacrificed her happiness and security on the altar of my vendetta. I have been praying to God every day to ask him bring her back to me. Why? Samuel, I have come here the second time to seek for your forgiveness on behalf of my son. But the high level of resistance you have unleashed on these youngsters in a noble relationship can destroy them. And I can tell you, as the head of this kingdom, that those two are in love. And I have brought some presents. As you go through them, I want you to think, think about the future of your daughter and think about the future of your granddaughter. I'll be waiting.
has instructed you relax. There is nothing wrong with you and surely you are not losing your head. No, Please no, relax. No, no, you don't understand. Relax. You don't, you don't understand. You don't understand. Relax your head. The only thing I want to say is that he suffered from a terrible shock. His condition has deteriorated seriously. We need all the information we could get. What exactly happened to him? I'm doctor. By the time I came back, he was already down. But he managed to tell me that the king paid him a visit. And ever since he left, he has been seeing hallucinations of Vanessa, suffering and smiling at the same time. Doctor, I don't know what that means. I don't. Our diagnosis shows that there are some substances that must be removed from his brain. That was exactly what the former doctor that attended to him said. And he recommended the operation immediately. But we could not afford the money he asked for. I want to be sincere with you. Go and look for money. The operation we are talking about were land penetrating to his brain, through his ear. It is very complicated. And if that is not done, it could lead to death. Hey! Doctor. said that Vanessa is missing. Uh, has she been found? We have still not found her. We've searched everywhere. We've been to the media houses. We've been to the police station. And still there's no hope. In fact... Oh, are, you, are you serious? What is going on? We're all praying. Really praying. Oh God. God, please save her wherever she is. Um, what about your brother? St. Christopher. In fact, I was on my way to the hospital before you walked in. Okay. Um, hang on. Just before you leave. Um, um, I have this letter for Vanessa. Can you help me deliver it to her? If you find her before me, because I'm searching as well. Sure, I will. Ben, thank you so much for your tremendous support. You've been so kind to us. It's all right. You're welcome. Uh, what about confidence? She's gone to school. We're hiding the story of Vanessa's disappearance. You know how intimate they are. Poor girl. Yeah. She misses her very much. Everyone misses her. Alright, um, can I drop you off? Sure.
getting into my head. The time is getting not be mine. She, she is gone. What have I done? you that by the grace of God, Alice will be found and brought back to you. Oh, oh yes. Oh, Father. Father, I don't want her anymore. What? Yes. Believe me. I... Oh, Father. I... Father, I am damn going crazy. I, I don't want her. Believe me, I don't want her. She's, she's just driving me crazy. She, she has messed up my whole life, Father. I've, I have just been busy chasing shadows, blinded to reality, Father. I don't, I don't, I don't want her. I just, I just want to focus and have a good life, Father. I just want to focus and, and just achieve my dreams and you start a new beginning. I don't want her, Father. I don't. All I want, Father, is to focus and have a good life. Exactly. Have a new beginning, exactly. Father. I, just, I, don't, exactly. I, don't, I don't, I don't want her. Okay, okay. All right. All right, please. Oh, please, just calm down. Calm down. It is not easy. It is not easy at all. If it were possible, I would take the whole pain that you are going through now and put it on and, and, and take it away from you. Because I'm looking at what you are going through now and it's, it's really hurting me. It's hurting me. Please, calm down. Of the way forward. It is not easy. I never said it is easy. And nobody can ever tell you it is easy. Uh, why do you think I have been coming here to spend time with you? So that we can put our heads together to find the way forward. Uh, my son, there is no magic to it. We have to think about it. We have to consult. We have to cooperate between ourselves. Utilize my experience. And then whatever we, we can. Please, my son. Please. I know it hurts. God knows I know it hurts. And if, if, if there's any way I can, I can ease that pressure, I will do it. I, I, I. How I wish I... Oh, I wish I could just find another father. That would be all. You already have. Alice is yours. Alice will always be yours. Have faith. Have faith, son. Have faith because I said by the special grace of God, she will be found and brought back to you. Yes. I see so.
what do I do? My son's condition is deteriorating. He is breaking down subsequently. Oh, the gods of my ancestors! I call on you for help. A helpless man I have become. I know exactly why you are calling. I do realize that I remain His Royal Majesty Igwe Omekago, the fifth of Umukoro Kingdom. I have given you my word on the matter, and you can be rest assured that I am the man of my words. I will handle your problem. Just relax. Hmm? immense effort ever since I've been admitted to this place. You have done more than Napoleon could do. It's unfortunate. There is probably no way we can raise such a copious amount they mentioned for my operation. But be it as it may, I died now. I certainly didn't die a young man. My fear is not to die. It's for the fact that I died without preparing at least for her future. The promise I made to her father before he died. Look at it. Who knows where Alice will be by now? Eh? I want you to promise me, Gloria. Anything. Whenever you set your eyes on Alice, that you will tell her I loved her so much, that everything I was doing, I meant good for her, stop. not evil. Stop, stop. Oh. Alice, stop, Sudha, please Alice. stop. You're not going to die, okay? Do not give up your faith, please. Uncle, with God, there is hope. There is hope. Oh, yeah. Such hope. miracle is, is very rare. Remember what the doctor said? Yeah. The important thing now is that you take heed of all the things that I've told you in case they come to pass. Oh, welcome, sir. Welcome to the Okay, and uh, I will see you now. I never, yes. never knew you would answer my invitation. <laughs> I am the king. I do not make empty promises. Please sit down, I want to talk to you. Thank you. I can see your highness. It's so sad we are discussing this on my sick bed. The other day, after you have left, I come to realize what my stubbornness have caused me. So I want to apologize. 
for all the things I have done to you and been your son. I now remember all the good things that you told me about being your son. She told me that she loved him so much even before she got married to Andrew. Look at it now. Faith has brought them together again. You hide that such love is made in heaven. And no one can put us on that to it. Not even myself. How I wish they were both here. So I can join their, their hands together. But my mistake has sent at least to isolation. I created a boundary between me and the bed. Your Highness, you have a large heart like your son, Ben. All my hope is now pinned on you. I want to make a request. So that even if I die, I believe that I die a happy life. Please, whenever you see Alice, Make sure she get married to bed your son. And that will be a great fulfilling life. Wherever I am, the spirit will rejoice with me. Well, I am glad to hear that you have accepted your mistakes. And you, uh, you intend to make amends. That is good. But I have something very important to tell you. It's the fact that uh, you are not going to die. <laughs> no, you are not going to die. I met a doctor and uh, he explained to me your condition. And uh, actually I, uh, I have made um, payments for the operation. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, You're welcome. Sir. You're welcome. And preparations for the operation commenced. Oh, God. But how do you, how do you have to go that far, Your Highness? After all, I have done to you. The least I can do is to save a dying man. But my worry now is that Alice is nowhere to be found. Ben, your son, is angry with me. And now standing between the lion and the bears. Look, all you need to worry about, the only, the little energy you have is to concentrate on yourself. By the special grace of God, Alice will come back to you. Yes. Well, thank God the operation will be successful. By your grace, Your Highness. You gave us hope when all hope was lost, and we are indebted to you forever. <sighs> the doctor said he will be discharged very soon. Good, good, I'm glad. I'm glad. But my joy is still incomplete. Even though I've recovered. But Alice is still lost. No. She couldn't be lost. <laughs> no, Alice is not lost. She will come back to you. And quite soon. So, just calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, Highness, you've been saying this. you said All it for right, the last Alice! 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 
Oh my god! Alice! Where have you been, Alice? How come? Where have you been? Ah, she's, she's been with me all this time. Your Highness! Oh, thank God. Yes. I was aware of the possible dangers in her emotional, uh, emotional state and the pains and agony that my son was going through all because of her. So I decided to take action. How can I live without you? My world is incomplete without you. For you, I will die for you. I will die for you. Without you, yes, my Lord, I will die for you. Without you, I will die for you. Every now and then. My heart beats for you. I will die for you. I will die for you. My dear, where are you coming from? And, and why are you looking so distraught? Ben. Ben says he doesn't love me, so I just, I just want to move on with my life. Please, come, come with me. Come with me. I love your son very much, but he doesn't feel same for me. Oh, he loves you. He's my son. I understand his feelings. He's probably overwhelmed by anxiety. Well, I... I understand that nothing can come between true love. Mm. Not even the pressure from my father. But I don't understand something. I don't understand why Ben would want to let me go. My daughter... A man's heart is like a riddle to a woman's comprehension. Nevertheless, there's a way out. So, I decided we should play a, 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 a mischievous game. I explained it to her, she agreed to play with me. And what is this game? She was going to elope from her house to mine. At least her parents would think she has eloped. And they will be looking for her and this will take two or three days. <laughs> that is number one. Number two, because you love her so much, you begin to feel guilty. You think it is your fault. There are things that you should have done that you have not done. Is number two. <laughs> and because you love her so much, you love her so much, 
and she, she dotes on you. If I had told her about the, the sickness, she would have jumped out of the window and the game would have been over. But because I heard her uncle express such love, it was such, a, such joy to listen to, I said, yes, the time is right for her to come home. And that's why she's here today. Such a mischievous girl. <laughs> exactly. The good part of it is that we are all here together. Yes. My daughter, you don't have to worry. Ben's father, his royal highness, has asked for your hand in marriage on behalf of Ben. And I've given my consent. Yes. But I, I thought you were not in support of all this. What happened? Perhaps your game worked indeed. Honestly, my daughter. Even all this while, I was fighting to keep you away from Ben. Your word kept echoing in my mind. When two hearts meet, nothing can come in between them. Not even me. Son. Because of my uncompromising stance, if you tell him now that I've given my consent, he will surely come back to you. Or do you want me to tell him myself? Ah, no, 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 Father. Well, I just want to put the past behind me. I just hope my future is bright and clear. I want to know what is in Ben's heart for me. I'll take it from there and know what the future holds for us. I just want to be there. Dearest Alice, I am very sorry for the way I treated you the other day. I never meant it when I said I didn't love you. I truly love you and will always do. I couldn't just control my emotions. Please, please forgive me for hurting you. I miss you so much and I want you back in my life. My guilt will not allow me to come before you unless I know you have forgiven me. And that is why I am writing to you instead. <laughs> I love I, you. I was wrong. He still loves me. <gasps> oh my God. Are you serious? Oh God. Oh my God. God has finally answered our prayers. My father has agreed for us to get married. God has answered our prayers. God has answered our prayers. Thank God. God, I mean, <laughs> very soon I will just be adorned with a bridal glove. And we'll just walk down the aisle and we'll say our dues together. Annabelle, I have a lot to say to you. But I don't know where to start. 
start anywhere again. I have a feeling I can see it in your eyes. One thing I know for sure is that I need a new beginning. I can't continue living in misery. I need to move on. And I feel I should move on with you. Could you please be mine? Oh my god! Hey! Oh my god! Could I ever say no to you, Ben? Oh my god, oh my dream! What's going on? You just proposed to me. Maybe you are not giving me a thing. What's going on here? What have you done to Alice? What's going on? I hope you've not forgotten what the doctor said. Any emotional trauma could lead into brain hemorrhage. But I hope you have not told her anything of her past. Father, even if I didn't tell her, sooner or later she will get to know. Oh, and for that you want her to remain a widow for the rest of her life. Snatching away from her the joy of her, of her future. Son, can't you see that you are her joy? know what you have with my son but all I can say to you is that you should not be deceived my son has a past and that past has a part to play in his future what I'm saying is that he belongs to another and as his father and king I am advising you to heal your wound before it grows broader. No. 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 Then let me die! No, you are not going to die. Listen. You're not going to die. Wait. What do you want from me? I live in an unreal world right now, so just let me. Stay. No. You live in a real world and you deserve the best. No, please don't sound like you care about me because you don't. Of course, care about no, me. I don't care. Look, I care. All right, go, go, go. listen to me, please. Please, I care. There are things you need to understand. Oh, listen. I understand everything. I know everything. I know that no one cares for me. No one loves me. Ben, I gave you my heart. It is not true. It is not true. Wait, wait, wait. Perhaps it is time for you to know about your past. Oh, God. My past. Yes, your past. My past. The facts that was hidden from you after the accident. I told you about that accident. You knew nothing about that accident. I told you. Have you forgotten? But I know. I know that you didn't only lose your memory in that accident, but your husband as well. <laughs> My husband? Yes. You're crazy. I am not. I, I am not crazy. I am not crazy. Listen, the prophet, the prophet the other day, he was right. You were married. 
you and your husband were in a car the ni that night and the car collided with mine. Yes. I am responsible for your loss of memory. And I, I am also responsible for making your daughter fatherless. My daughter. Yes. Confidence is your daughter, not your niece. <laughs> your real name isn't Vanessa, but Alice. Alice is your name. Just, just stop it, you know, just, just stop everything, just stop it, just stop it, no, just stop it, just stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, no, oh my god, no, 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 stop it, just stop it! Just stop it, stop it, stop it! Don't touch me! Listen, I, I am not doing this to hurt you. I just feel that it is time for you to know the truth. Now you know why I've always been around you. Wait, 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 wait. wait. My father. Samuel is not your father. He is your uncle. I want to know the truth! What truth? I mean, what, what, what truth are you talking about? She knows. There is no need for further lies. I told her everything. About her accident. About her late husband. About her daughter. What's going on here? Ben has told her. Ben has told her what? About my hidden past. About my miserable past. Oh, son, how could you? Do you want to destroy her completely? You once told me, Father, that no matter how long we hide the truth, one day it will be exposed. Even if I didn't tell her today, Father, someday she will find out. She deserves to know, Father, and I feel that today is the right day. I'm sorry, my daughter. Please, could you have a seat so I can explain a few things?
You see, my daughter, I have to lie in order to keep you alive. I even did everything for you and your daughter. Even Ben here, he has done a lot for you. In fact, he has done the unimaginable, my daughter. And he will never stop doing. To tell you the truth, Ben has always loved you. Oh, not just now, but long before you married your late husband. Ben has sacrificed for true love. But he still lives in guilt, waiting until your lost memory comes back to you. Then on that note, excuse me just for one minute. Vanessa, here is something you cherished so much. It is your diary. I said to myself that I have to keep it for you for a day like this. I have not bothered to read through it. I know that you used to be very meticulous about it. Go through it. Perhaps you will find something in it that will help you through this present day predicament. Take it. What I write here today is my top secret. It happened in the palace of King Omikago. Ben took me out on a date. It was such a lovely outing. Finally, we ended up in the throne room of the king. This is the throne room of my father. And naturally, I should not bring you in here. Well, it looks vintage. So, what am I doing here if I'm not supposed to be here? I decided to bring you in here to prove to you that you are not just a visitor. You belong here. Well, I don't understand what you mean by I belong here. Because, my dear, you are... You are unique. 
You are exceptional. You are outstanding. See, when I look at you, you remind me of my mother. Yes. I see royalty written all over you. A perfect replacement of my mother. <laughs> now you want to make me cry, right? <laughs> it's not going to work, trust me. <laughs> That's not what I'm doing. I'm sorry, but I'm telling you the truth. See, we have something between us, something called true love. And if I'm ever going to spend the rest of my life with any woman, that person is you. Um, Ben, please, can you just Stop talking about this, please. My love, I can't stop. You see, fine, we, we, can, we can try to hide it. We can do our best to hide it. But it lives in us. Right here. that runs in his eyes. I was consumed by his aura and personality. Ben was very excited. He opened an expensive wine and asked me to drink. I got tipsy eventually and slept off. I finally woke up in one of the rooms in the palace to behold myself naked. It was clear to me that Ben had his way with me. Ah! Ah! No! No, 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 no! No, I... Man, I told you, I told you I didn't want this, I said it, I don't... I said it, I said it, I said it! Oh, no, no, I told you, but I told you I didn't want to do this, I told you! Oh, my God. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We didn't do anything, no. we, oh we just had fun and no. I enjoyed it. You loved it too. I did it. We don't have to act like this. We, of course we're adults. We didn't do anything, no. What a terrible mistake I have made. Betraying Andrew. Oh my God. I regret every bit of it. As I write this today, I am in tears. Pregnancy test has confirmed me. Two months pregnant for Ben. Just a few weeks to my wedding to Andrew. Can I confess to Andrew? No. Can I ever confide in anyone that would be destroying my world? I have only one valid option to seal this mistake in my heart. I must make Andrew believe he is responsible for the pregnancy. I will proceed with the wedding. As a compensation to Andrew, I will remain faithful to him forever. My top secret. What is this, son? Babe! Confidence. Yes, that about it. Confidence. She is my biological daughter. 
your daughter. Your what? She is my biological daughter. something that I have found out today. I have found out that I am a mother. I have found out that I am a widow. I have found out that I will live a lonely life. Oh no. I am here for you. Ben, you've done enough for me. You've done everything. Just leave me. Just leave me to wallow in my, in my loneliness. You are not alone. You have never been alone. I have always been there for you. For you, I have lived like a married man. For confidence, I have lived like a father. You know why? Because I love you. What if I tell you that I love you more than I ever did. And I can never live without you. What if I tell you that I am ready to give confidence our daughter the love of a father and my name? What if I tell you that I am ready to give up everything? takes its root in God must succeed. Uh, in my capacity as a king, I hereby declare God is the greatest. Uh, whatever God says yes to, nothing and no one can say no. It is a process that started a long time ago. And now it has got to its crescendo. Alice, my dear, shall be well with you. Standing before the Council of Elders, I welcome you to the palace as the wife of my son. 
Shall be well with you. Shall be well with you. Thank you. You are the one his heart yearned for. And you are the one that he has married at last. In my position as the king of Umukoro, I hereby declare you a royal princess. The great Rocco Tree. She shall be well with you. The giant masculine of Umukoro. <laughs> His Royal Highness. <laughs> I welcome you wholeheartedly as my son in law. Igwe, my joy knows no bound. My too, my too. At least my daughter. I'm a fulfilled man. <laughs> Your father, my brother, will be happy with whatever she Are you drunk? He's a little You killed him! Oh my god! He killed him for himself! I know her! You want lobby, it's all make it down. You want lobby, it's all make it down. No problem. Your case is like a case. Case is in the fridge. Hey. If I'm 